So, and let's be fair, that's what this is for many people. First, it was Jim Comey's fault. Then let's have a recount that wasted millions of dollars in everybody's time that went nowhere. Then it's the Russian interference. Then it's a bunch of people in a movement that we have disavowed many times. How about it just was Hillary Clinton and the message? And I, I think that they're trying, to, they're trying to conflate the two so that we revisit nobody, the election Nobody results. here is doing that. And the president-elect isn't just questioning that CIA assessment. He has also questioned the on-the-record assessment of 17 intelligence agencies that Russia was trying to meddle in this election. He says he doesn't believe it. Why? Because these are all unsourced, off this the record is a comments. Report. No, this is a public they report don't agree, released though. in October. 17 intelligence official agencies all saying Russia was part of this. But what, but what he said yesterday is what he's calling laughable and ridiculous yesterday, George, is the specific conclusion that what Russia did led to his victory and Hillary Clinton's defeat. That's where our beef is. He respects the intelligence community. He's going to be president but you of the United States. He keeps saying he respects it, but he's saying he doesn't believe their conclusions. He's saying specifically he does not believe the conclusion of 17 agencies that Russia was involved here. The conclusion that this helped him win and Hillary Clinton lose. That's, a, that's what he said very no, clearly. But that's, that's Time Magazine last week, he says, I do not believe the judgment of the intelligence community that Russia was behind this. Why not? Behind this meaning the election results. And, and the other reason and meddling is, in our election. The other reason is that's what investigations are for. I mean, if we had the closed door House Intelligence Committee meeting last week or so, then that's, that's what's happening. It's ongoing. I know Senator McCain on a different network yesterday said that they would go ahead and open up hearings, perhaps bipartisan hearings. Fine. We would never, the executive would never meddle in that. Look, George, let me make very clear. The president-elect does not want interference into our politics. But we, don't, we also don't want politics into the interference of our intelligence. And that's what's happening now. People are trying to politicize our intelligence because they don't like the election.